All right, lights. <laughs> Where is he? Inside the Wilderness Innovations Poncho. Um, this is the the large, heavy-duty model. Um, I have lots of space. I even have my own little ledge. I'm finding that these trees make a nice spot to set up. In fact, if I, ha I have it kind of adjustable on my hammock ridge line here. But if I had it to do over, I might even adjust the tarp a little more over so, you know, all the water that pours down it gets to the other side of that log. And I might do that. It might uh, rain tonight. It's definitely got a cold wind and it's doing its job blocking from the wind over here. I just have my backpack and my sheet of foam right now inside the pack. I've actually got another hammock um, with a bug net. Being that, you know, if I was hiking in this and everything, it would more be filling the duty as the tarp. It's kind of like, okay, is it the tarp? Is it the hammock? Is it the shelter? Well, I don't know yet. But I was going to kind of play around with, you could in theory take your hammock bug net, you know, if it was buggy season and rig it up to this cord and whatnot. And you'd have some sort of a net around you but it's the idea that you might have to go to the ground like a tent then i gotta blow up uh my x-ped down mat and my army sleeping bag and another kind of warm puffy piece of quilt because it's kind of cold it's early mid-spring but it's been kind of it snowed last night mountain laurel designs piece of foam i kind of carry it if i think i might be on the ground and uh i'll step out of here show you guys what I did um, takes the notion that you're gonna probably have your hammock straps because you're really hammocking and go under the ground and here the winds coming in I just use the other hammock strap over here it goes out to that tree and this log really gives it a lot of its uh, shape I'm really liking the idea of using these big logs because look at you have a shelf for your fun stuff like your little radio in theory I would probably move that tarp a little more maybe even lash it right to that tree and then like I said the water runs all the way off that and over the log and it's really hard for the, uh, the wind to blow over that log over here well I took a stake through my little custom quick connect for my hammock and into the little tie out for the tarp and then I just took the other side of the cordage I tried it first just coming through there and that is eh, kind of flopping around like a hammock so I just kind of swooped the little tie out once on there and then down to another stake so very easily I could move this uh, the hood is just kind of cinched up they actually give you a button so if you really wanted to button down the hood you could yeah kind of rhyming here but yeah this is just a look at the extra large or this would be the largest size wilderness innovations punch of the it, like the six three and up or whatever I'm not having trouble at 5'11", just kind of putting a belt around my waist. And I carry some gear on my chest sometimes, so it, it's not like I'm tripping. I I <laughs> ain't like I'm tripping, man, but that's an interesting thing, isn't it? I'll step back. You can see that. You can see how you could... That thing way back there is my walking vest, but... A lot of the Midwest, you're up over neighborhoods and stuff. It's uh, Midwestern United States. It's not like, you know, some of the places where you're walking for days and not seeing houses. You more have to kind of hide and blend in. But And this would do the job there. Um, anyway, just to look at this configuration, I really like it. It's just the notion that this is either this is very comfortable as a hammock by the way it's either going to be your hammock or your tarp and it is your rain poncho i consider it more like an emergency shelter really bad terrible wind and rain type of thing like you're probably going to have your uh you know your raincoat last night i hiked a while 
with just this down park. Like I said, it was snowing and icing. And the hood and stuff build up a little water, you know, just because you're in a plastic poncho. But uh, my down here that I'm wearing stayed nice and dry, so I, I can't complain. I was very warm in it. Um, it definitely builds up heat. Like, uh, I see it so far as like a winter item, but it it it's your hammock. It's the idea that if this is your hammock or your tarp, you could just put it on as a poncho, you could set up as a shelter, whatever type of thing. Wilderness innovations. So this would be your sleeve where you snap your poncho sleeve. I've got my Dyneema to my X-Ped slit line. I could even hang my radio off it and you can kind of see over here on the back side, this is my hammock suspension. You know, you could have a number of different things, but I just, you know, it could be a button link or, you know, maybe you have your own knot you do. But, and these I just have on here because uh, I find when I'm down by the river or up here in the wood, I could just stake sticks in them, you know. You can't stick a stick through that too easy, but you can, and you can kind of see it. You don't lose your shelter. I mean, it's enough that with my flashlight here on it, you can see it, but, you know, if you're rolling on a car way far, far away, like there's a highway way over there, there's a neighborhood way down there, you're not going to see it. Basically, so I don't lose my own shelter. <laughs> Probably a, maybe one of the better points of this video, huh? But uh, I'll let you guys go just to look at it. Um, guess I'll climb back in it once more. You can get an idea. There's my backpack. You could easily, you know, raise it up or lower it. It's kind of got a system, you can see. Same as you could a hammock. Um, it's the same system. You know, if I wanted to, in theory, if it was a bad storm, maybe I would, like, want this side a little lower and that whole tarp a little further over the log and I'd just crawl up under there. Um, sets up great with uh, trekking poles. I'm um, just in the hood, like, even in hammock mode, I get a video where it was just as a hammock. I stuck a stake of the one end of the hammock, the other end of the hammock, popped a couple trekking poles up in that hood. That's the advantage to having a heavy duty. I mean, this is a two point, it's basically a two pound poncho. It's not light or anything, but it is tough. Like, you could be walking through the woods with it on and sit down on a tree and be fine lay on the ground right in your poncho i mean i think that's kind of what they're going for just or maybe you know you're canoeing or just portaging i you got it in your jeep i'm not real sure i had it lashed to my backpack no problem and when you think of it as like a good heavy piece of gear you know that's not that bad that that amount of weight but i'll let you guys you can get it in the ultra light and a few different types of nylon and Cuban or uh, Dyneema or whatever. But I'll leave you guys alone out there. Crawl into my hole here.